Hi everyone, this is Luisa and welcome back to my channel. So for today's vlog guys, uh, this is going to be another travel video. So we're currently here at Alaminas, Pangasinan. So kararating lang namin dito sa may accommodation. And it's already, uh, I think, uh, almost 3pm na in the afternoon. So uh, yun, maaga kami bumiyahe dito kanina. So around, nagsimula kami ng mga 7.45. So yun, almost 6 hours and 30 minutes yung biyahe from uh, QC papunta dito sa may um, Alaminos, Pangasinan. So guys, yung sadya talaga namin dito sa Alaminos is yung 100 Islands Tour. Pero bukas pa siya. Sinadya lang namin na pumunta dito ng maaga kasi ayaw namin mahassle uh, tomorrow. And as usual, this is a DIY uh, trip guys. So meron din naman kayong option na mag-tour. Uh, Sumali sa mga tour papunta dito. Pero ayaw kasi namin ng ganun kasi nga uh, hindi mo hawak yung auras mo. That's why uh, we opted for a uh, DIY uh, trip. And it's hindi na, madali lang din naman na siya. So yun, yung bahay papunta dito from Manila to Alaminos is 6 hours 30 minutes. So may mga stopover na yun. And it's via Victory uh, Liner. So yun guys, uh, di yung accommodation namin is dito sa May Island Tropic. So katapat niya lang yung tourism office ng Alaminos, Pangasinan. And yeah, malapit lang siya sa wharf. As in, nandito lang talaga siya sa uh, kaharap. Uh, yeah, so anyways, later mag-room tour uh, tayo dito sa May Island Tropic yung nakuha namin room. And of course, we discuss pa later kung how much yung uh, bus fare and everything uh, like that. So guys, see you later. So let's start the room tour here at the Island Tropic. Tada! So pagpasok nyo guys, makikita nyo kagad dito yung um, table for your things and your gadgets. They have a mirror here and of course a cable TV. So working yung TV na yan. Sa baba naman na to, mayroon pa rin lagayin ng gamit nyo. They also have a closet, aircon, and a frame ng 100 islands. Sa sa room na to, mayroong dalawang double bed. So very spacious talaga siya. And on the side, nandito yung um, CR. So ayan, pagpasok nyo ng bathroom, makikita nyo dito yung salamin lang. Ayan, of course, small sink, a toilet with bidet, and yeah, hot and cold shower. So yeah, that's basically it for the uh, room tour dito sa resort na to. Bye! Hi guys, update. So it's already 4.30 in the afternoon. So medyo maulan dito. Hindi maganda yung weather ngayon dito sa mga Alaminos, Pangasinan. So yeah, lumabas muna kami ni Fetch para maglakad-lakad and see kung ano yung pwedeng gawin uh, dito. So right now, nandito kami sa my uh, 100 Islands 2023 na signage. Ayan siya. Ha. I think yan yung mga islands sa 100 Islands na pwede natin puntahan tomorrow. And daming tao ngayon. Hopefully, yung weather okay na tomorrow para makapag-island happy kami. Anyways, guys, nga pala, we're supposed to visit yung Boo and uh, Mangrove Park. Kaso hanggang 4.30pm lang pala sila and nagpahinga muna kasi kami kanina and yeah, okay na din kasi uh, hindi rin talaga okay yung weather dito kaya feeling ko hindi rin ganun kaganda yung itsura ko pag pumunta kami doon. So, The city of Alaminos is located in the western part of the province of Pangasinan in the Philippines. Alaminos is actually the home to the 100 Islands National Park, the very first national park here in the Philippines. It is also the heart of western Pangasinan since it's the center of commerce, finance, education, and industry. And guys, the people here speak Ilocano and Pangalotok. So if you find yourself hard to speak their dialect or at least hard to understand them, don't worry as they can still talk with you in Tagalog and in English. And if ever you got hungry, they have food stalls here at the Luca Park where you can find chips, burgers, shawmice, fish balls, shakes, and many more for a very, very cheap price, guys. You can also find souvenir shops here which is actually perfect if you want to buy some pasalubongs for your family or friends before heading back to Manila. No worries as the prices are affordable naman. So update mga horror. So nandito na kami sa may parking area before yung uh, dead end ng part uh, area na to. So ayan. 
Para siyang overlooking sa may dagat. So, yeah. Dito muna kami mag-stay for a little bit. Tingnan na namin kung ano. Pero <laughs> dito, well, aside sa uh, overlooking siya sa mga Hello. May nakukuha po kayo dyan? <laughs> si Amdilim. Ayang crabs. Crabs yung ginagamit yung pang ano? Hindi po. Oh, yung hinuhuli nyo crabs. May umano kumakagat kasi yung crabs. Ayan o. Ay, wala pa. Wala. So guys, we're here at Shine City because we look up warm. So we're gonna have our dinner here because it's cheaper dito compared to mga restaurants that we went to, which is mostly for sharing. Uh, sila. So yun, since dalawa lang naman kami, and hindi naman kami malakas kumain. So, mas better na dito na lang para mas makapura na din. So, yeah guys, Here's our dinner. Shrimp, sisig, and beef steak. So, 100 each lang siya guys. Ayan, and two rice. Alam mo, Karor, update pala muna tayo. So, it's already 8pm uh, na. So, yun, nakapag-wash up na kami and magpapahinga na rin kami kasi maaga kami uh, bukas for the island hopping. And, of course, before that, let's talk about the expenses pala muna. So, for the accommodation dito sa may island tropic, so, nabook namin siya sa may Agoda, that's 1,728 for two packs, one night lang, guys. So, that's roughly 864 pesos each. So, not bad na rin. And, for the boat for island hopping, that's 1,400. So, so, small boat lang siya kasi yun yung rarantahan namin. So, para maging private uh, na siya. So, that's 700 each. Pero wala pa kami napapareserve bukas pa. So, that's the reason why kailangan din namin agahan para may makuha na kaming available na boat as soon as possible. And, of course, meron atang environmental and registration fee pero hindi ko pa alam yung exact amount. So, bukas ko na lang kayo i-update. So, yun pala guys. Uh, so, makay kami kanina ng bus uh, from Cubao. So, sa Victory Liner na bus station sa Cubao kami sumakay. So, Pwede kayong sumakay yung papuntang Bulinaw tapos sabihin nyo na lang sa konduktor na sa Alaminos Pangasinan kayo sumakay. So I suggest na maaga kayong umalis ng Manila kasi yung biyahe is 6 hours 30 minutes. So kasama na doon yung mga stopovers. I think naka-apat or lima ata na stopovers. So if I'm not uh, mistaken. So yun, yung fare is 540 each. So yeah, that's it uh, for now. Wala na kami naman gagawin ngayong gabi kasi maulan siya dito guys. Nga pala, ay, wala kayong masyadong magagawa dito, uh, to be honest, sa may Alamino. So, except dun sa may Luka Wharf, meron dong um, park. Pwede kayo maggalagala and meron din dong mga food stalls. So, pwede kayo mag-snack and of course, souvenir shops. Other than that, yung mga restaurants, pwede nyo rin puntahan. But I don't recommend if isa or dalawa lang kayo kasi bancho pricey siya. But good for sharing naman yung food. But still, uh, a little bit pricey. Okay siya if family kayo or malaking group kayo kasi marami kayong maghahati if ever. Pero kung isa or dalawa, I don't think na okay siya. Especially if nagtitipid kayo. So I suggest dito na lang din kayo sa may look up for kumain. Maraming eatery dito guys or karenderia. Mura na siya and masarap pa kaysa kumain kayo sa super mahal. But if you want, go ahead. ba? Guys, uh, see you tomorrow sa Island Hopping. Bye! Hi guys, meron pala silang swimming pool dito sa my island tropic. So ayan, if tapos na kayo mag island hobby, you can actually uh, chill here. Ayan, ang lahat ng swimming pool nila in fairness. There. 
So it's already uh, almost 6 a.m. na. So pupunta na kami sa may tourism office para magparegister. Then after that, uh, tuloy na tuloy na ang island hopping natin. So far yung weather medyo okay-okay na. Hopefully later maging super okay talaga siya. And yeah, magja-check out na rin kami sa hotel kasi hindi kami makakapag-check out later. Pero dito na lang din namin iiwan yung gamit namin. And makikishower kami uh, later dito sa may uh, pool area. Dala. So yeah guys, see you later sa may uh, tourism office. So first step is we're gonna register the order rates. Ayan guys, registration fee is 100 pesos for day tour. Tapos they have environmental entrance fee and of course insurance. So, yeah, that is where the common kind of. And here are the other details, then, if you might need. Okay, let's go. So, yung aming boatman. Yeah, and boarding the tire, guys. There's our boat. So guys, aside from the uh, small boat na babayaran namin, which is 1-4, you're also gonna pay for environmental fee, which is 60 pesos per person, entrance fee of 30 pesos per person, and coverage or insurance fee for 10 pesos. They also have payment for uh, trash bag, pero refundable naman siya if ever hindi mo magagamit in case lang na marami kayong basura, diba, during the uh, island hopping, so meron kayong paglalagyan. And other than that, nag din ako ng snorkel and mask, so that's 100 50 pesos per person. So, yun guys, yun lang naman yung uh, fees na babayaran nyo dito for the island happy. That's for dater. Iba naman yung rate ng overnight tour dito. So, yun. After ni bench magpalipat ng drone, we're gonna go to our island happy. Na. So, yeah guys, see you there. Sige. Hello. Hello. Okay. Survive naman. Yan. Out. I forgot to mention, meron pala sa long payment na 50 pesos each for the life vest. So, pwede nyo siyang bayaran doon sa may tourism office or dito na sa mga bank. Pero, bago kayo uh, sumakay. So, yun guys. And, hindi daw siya pwede uh, tanggalin during the tour. Kasi, mapapenalty sila if ever. So, yun. Take note of that. Guys, update! Our first stop is here at the Pilgrimage Island. So, ito na siya. Ito yung may ihahike kayo. Hinihike lang naman. Sige. Pagpipicture muna kami dito bago kami pumunta doon sa may doon guys. Doon, doon, doon. So, yan yung dadaanan namin pagpunta doon. Medyo mahaba siya. Oh my god! So this is the entrance and the exit guys. Yon, so dito tayo dadaan muna. Kapunta doon! Hello, baha dito, Char. Matan mana nama new view deck. So we can take photos. Oh my god, it's so steep. We're finally here at the view deck area. This is my pilgrimage island. Yes. Ganda dito guys, you can enjoy the panoramic view of this island here. Wow. Check 
Tignan natin kung anong meron dito guys. I think guys, yung pupuntahan naming islands dito is 7 lang. I know na 100 islands to, pero of course, hindi naman natin mapupuntahan lahat. Kasi hindi naman siya pwedeng apuntahan talaga all of them. And some islands dito, wala kasi siyang mga sand. So, konting-konti lang yung mga na-develop na islands na pwedeng puntahan for the island hopping tour. Pero at least, ba ang dami mong islands na makikita dito, hindi lang isa or dalawa, ba? So, yon. make sure na if uh, you also want to travel dito bandang north, isama nyo yung uh, Alaminos, Pangasinan for the 100 Islands tour. It's worth it, guys. So, yeah. There's the function hall, guys. But I think uh, that's under construction pa. So, yun. Diyan kami maglalakad mamaya. Hanap ka may way papunta doon. So yan guys, yung dome na to, view that pala yung third floor niya. Yung um, second floor is the Kopi, Kopi, is last, so pwede kayo mag-coffee dyan. Yung next is museum, the souvenir shop, and yung last one is the chapel. So yan, let's check it out. Magahit na kami papunta ng pilgrimage sa taas. May gandahan dito guys. Pwede ka ba mo yung lemon? Oh my god. There's jellyfish. Bungie. We're now here at the pilgrimage island. Oh, so they have 14 stations of the cross, the chapel, and the view deck as well. Go. Oh, good night. Oh, good night. Oh, my God. Malayo pa kami sa katotohanan guys. Nandiyan na siya guys. Ayan, malapit na tayo. Let's go. Ayan na. There's the statue of Jesus Christ. Yeah. There's the view from the top. Karabe. Ganda.
guys, update. We're done here at Pilgrimage and Ramas Island. Ramas pala yung doon na part, tapos yung Pilgrimage is yung uh, island dito. So, yun. Yung next destination namin is sa Marcos Island, which is doon din makikita yung Imelda Cave and yung Cliff Jump. Tayo magsisipipin, guys. Nga pala, guys, easy lang naman yung trek papunta doon sa may uh, view deck sa taas, yung may statue ni Jesus Christ. So, yon You have two options. Yung sa kabila is yung pa-view deck kaagad. Yung isa naman is dadaan kayo sa mga stations of the cross. So, nasa sa inyo na lang yung kung saan kayo dadaan, ha? So, guys, our next destination is here at Quezon Island. Nandiyan din yung side na yan. yan. So, this island is famous for snorkeling and the zip line. There. So, to try namin mag zip line, yung pinaka maikli lang. Yung mahaba daw, which is yan siya, hindi pa daw siya nag-ooperate ngayon. So, dito na lang muna kami sa maliit. Then, after that, mag snorkeling kami dito. And guys, we'll also buy snacks here. And there's the uh, um, information center dito. Pwede kayo magtanong. So guys, hindi naman yung tsura ko. So yan, pag zip line tayo, yun nga lang kailangan ko magkakat papunta doon sa may uh, starting point ng zip line. So yeah, let's do this. There's the starting point of the zipline, guys. I think end point is sa kabila. So yeah. No, it's not. Island. Grabe. Ang water. So cute. Here's our lunch. Mais kunyelo. Iga doon na tinikot namin kanina. Ayos yung sisigin. Halo, halo. Let's eat, guys. Guys, we're still here at Town Island. So, yun. Pagkatapos namin kumain, magsasnorkeling na kami ulit. Sana, ano, mas maraming fish uh, dito.
A few moments later. So guys, uh, we're here at Marcos Island. Dito na din yung uh, Imelda Cave. This is our last destination for our island hopping. So, yan. So aside from the uh, cliff diving doon sa my Imelda Cave, pwede na din kayo dito mag-snorkeling, swimming, and all. Ang nalagay ng water dito, oh. Let's go na. And guys, no life vest, no jump. Oh my god, ang init ng ano. Ay, na po alam. There's the Imelda Cave. Destination is here at uh, the Governor's Island Ice. Super Madam Dito. Hmm. Oh, they have the plan as well. Hi guys, update. So we're done with island hopping and nakapag wash up na kami dito sa my island trophy. So it's almost 5 p.m. na and before kami uh, sumakay ng pas uh, later, mag snack muna kami dito. Yes. Here at the food stalls, guys. So, dito ako bibili ng avocado graham with pearl. Tapos, dito kami bumili ng burger. Legend. 
Jetzt ist es And that's the end of this vlog. Thank you so much guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys on the next one. Bye!